First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Paleo Hebrew, it's called Hello Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rahach Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity and peace, blessings and healings unto the elect and the multitude. Because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today, man, I want to talk about a couple of things. Uh, firstly, Britain on lockdown alert as a new killer virus, which kills 40% of its victims, certain to reach UK. And I got a video to go with this. But also, I want to talk about this. You know, Russia terminates Black Sea grain deal. Uh, wheat prices spike. And uh, Ukraine feeds a lot of people, man. It says uh, Russian naval blockade that kept Ukrainian food supplies from reaching global markets has served as a key lifeline to poor countries across Africa and the Middle East, struggling with widespread drought and famine conditions. So, you know, you have Bashem Shah said in the last days there would be pestilences and famines that go together, okay, in the last days, point blank, period. Black scene, great deal. Time to rethink how to feed the world. You know what I'm saying? So we at those times. And lastly, I'm going to talk about this. Uh, mental health roundups. The next phase of the government's war on thought crimes. You know, and I'm going to get into that because all this coincides uh, with the last day. So let's play this video real quick. Get ready for more lockdowns, folks, in the United Kingdom or around the world. We've been warning you, of course, that lockdowns are about to happen, could happen again. And this time they've been warning us that it could be even worse than before. And the biggest concern, of course, that it would be children. That this time, this new virus, whatever they're going to release, whatever's coming out now, part two will be more deadly and it will specifically go after children. So lockdowns, we didn't do them quite as stringently as we could have before, but now we will do them better this time. That's what they want. All right, well, we're being warned to be on the lookout for a new virus called CCHF. It's the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. So uh, there you have it, man. You know, they doing a thing, but Yahaba Shemeshah said all this stuff will come, man. You know, pestilences and famines. Point blank, period. Let's get those. This is Matthew 24, I always get this. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, plural. Okay, so multiple places, multiple famines, pestilences, plural. Not only 19. Okay, you have Basham Shah got more coming. And earthquakes in diverse places, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Now, it appears as signs of Hamashiach's return. And this is one of the signs, man, that, you know, all this stuff will be coming down the pipeline. You know what I'm saying? It says perilous times. And then it goes into the glorious return. So, you know, this is just something that uh, we got to deal with, man. You know what I'm saying? And this is something that, you know, the wicked got to deal with. Sinners got to deal with. You know, Yahweh Basham is bringing all this down the pipeline to get rid of y'all people, man. Point blank, period. This is uh, Jeremiah 29 and 18. It says, and I will persecute them with the sword, with the famine, and with the pestilence, and will deliver them to be removed to all the kings of kingdoms of the earth. This happened to the Israelites, right? To be a curse, an astonishment, and a hissing, and a reproach among all the nations, whether I have driven them. Yahweh Basham did this to the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. But now it's bouncing back on our enemies. So, you know, the world is going to get that Egypt, uh, Egypt treatment, okay? Because they did all this to us, and now they got to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Deuteronomy 30 and 7, it says, And Yahweh Shemeshah, thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee. You know, I was just looking up um, um, this sundown town stuff. You know, they're going to get it too. It says, which persecuted thee. So Yahweh Shemeshah is going to bring all them curses that, you know, the Israelites are under. And he's going to put it on all our enemies, you know. The curses are in Deuteronomy 28. You know, you can read through these. If the Israelites would have kept the first covenant, 1 through uh, 14, you know, all this stuff would happen, which is going to happen again, you know, in the kingdom of heaven. But it says the consequences of disobedience. And which one of those consequences are there? You know, let's go down. 21. Yahweh Shemeshah shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from the land, whither thou goest to possess it. So, how about Shemeshah uses pestilences to um, get rid of uh, undesirables, man? You know, point blank, period. And that's why it says in Deuteronomy 30 and 7, 
that all these curses shall fall upon our enemies and them that hate thee. Okay, this is coming, man. You know, these are our enemies. They about to get fucked up out here with all these prophecies that you have us and Mashiach has lined up. Okay, and if you don't repent, you're not going to escape from none of this stuff. Okay, Russia out there doing this thing. That's prophecy. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, famous pestilences is a prophecy. So we're going to see multiple, plural of these, point blank, period. Okay, before your house shall return. Now, I want to go here, you know, pestilence. You know, I just typed it in in this uh, website, and it brings up all these scriptures. You know what I'm saying? You have us and Messiah don't be playing with people. Ezekiel 7 and 15, the sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. And this is coming, man. Okay? This is last day's prophecy. It happened to us back in the day. Now it's going to happen to our enemies, man. Point blank period. It says, First Chronicles 24 and 14, So Yahweh Shemeshah sent pestilences upon Israel, and there fell of Israel 70,000 men. Okay, so, you know, Yahweh Shemeshah did this to his own people, man. His own people, okay, to the people that broke that first covenant. But like I said, all this is coming upon our enemies, okay? Point blank period, 70,000. How many people was in that uh, 19? And how many people is going to be in this? Okay, and they're going to lock down shit again. How about some is not playing? Okay, he never been playing. Okay, we was under grace. A spiritual allotted amount of time. Okay, you have some has always been the same. He ain't ever changed. This is what he used to uh, get rid of people. Like I said, famines are um, in this too. So let's go get some famine scriptures real quick. This is uh, Jeremiah 18 and 21. Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine. So, Yahweh Shemeshah does not discriminate, man. You know what I'm saying? Also, I want to get this scripture. Because it talks about in the last days that um, children will be dying from hunger, man. Second Edges 15. Let me get this real quick. This is a 50, I want to get 57. It says, Thy children shall die from hunger. And this is talking about um, in the last days, okay? Second Edges 15 and 16. Talking about, let me get 16 real quick so I can make a point. You know, when you go to 16, it says the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? So what's coming? It says the same thing in Matthew 24, right? All these are the beginning of sorrow. So it gives you more context on what's going to be happening out here. People going to be fighting against each other. People going to be killing each other. There's going to be so many dead bodies out here. You ain't even going to be able to bury them. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of hell. That's going to be brought forth on the earth. But thy children shall die from hunger. This is uh, 15. It says, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down, and all thou shalt perish with the sword in the field. They that be in the mountain shall die of hunger, and eat their own flesh, and drink their own blood, for very hunger of bread, and thirst of water. So, yeah, how about is not going to be playing out here? He never was playing, like I said. We weren't under grace. He's the same. He never changed. Okay. Let me get that. Lord never changes. This is Malachi 3 and 6. It says, For I am Yahweh Shemeshah. I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed. So the Lord never changes. He never changed. He, never, he ain't never going to change. Okay. All that smoke that's in Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. All these scriptures right here about pestilences coming upon his own people. His own people. Okay. For disobeying him. It's going to come upon, like I said, our enemies, okay? They're going to feel this, point blank, period, like I said, because of the wickedness they have committed and the atrocities they have committed, okay? They didn't think of the latter end of their decisions. This is why America is being is deplorable. They're degenerate, okay? It just is what it is. But lastly, I want to talk about this, this mental health roundups, okay? Because all this coincides, you know, with prophecy, too, because... They're going to be rounding up people, okay, rounding up the believers, actually. Okay, it's called Jacob's Trouble. So during all this pestilence, all this stuff, Jacob's Trouble is going to be taking place at the same time. Jeremiah 37, it says, uh, at last for that day is great, so that none is like it is It is even the time of Jacob's Trouble. But um, he shall be saved out of it. You know, this is coming, man. The worst time ever on the earth. That's what's coming. Point blank period can't be refuted. It says, get ready for the next phase of government's war on thought crimes. You know, and you know what's funny about that is that the prophets are back today. And uh, they're on the street corners and 
obviously when they're on the internet making videos so i'm making a video you know and uh they don't like that and so they're gonna say you got mental problems and shit but it says mental health roundups and involuntary detentions you know this is why all this stuff coincides because you know you got uh you know martial law you got all these detention camps concentration camps all that's coming man it says um under the guise of public health and safety you know let's let's get this scripture when they say peace and safety you know what i'm saying first thessalonians 5 and 3 it says for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction come up upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape so you know, Yahweh Shem and Shah got, he crossed the eyes, he's dotted the eyes. We already know the future, man. You know, it says um, the government could use mental health care as a pretext for targeting and locking up dissidents, activists, and anyone unfortunate enough to be placed on a government watch list. And uh, the Israelites are on a watch list, you know what I'm saying? Uh, point blank period. It says, if we do not nip this in the bud and soon, we will become another pretext of which government officials can violate the First and Fourth Amendment at will. And they don't really care about that shit. They've been, you know, knocking that down for years. This is how it begins. In communities across the nation, police are being empowered to forcibly detain individuals that believe they believe might be mentally ill based on solely on their own judgment, even if those individuals pose no danger to others you know what i'm saying it talks about in the last days you know them going after the blameless okay the blameless you know lying and all that so i don't need to read no more of that let's just get you know what the scriptures say you know let's go to um revelations 2 revelations 2 and 10 it says fear none of those things which you shall suffer behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison and a lot of you people think the devil is uh some person with horns and a tail which is not, okay, the devil is red, and it's Edom, okay, the so-called white man, okay, the devil and Satan are different, Satan is the evil angel, and Satan works with the devil, okay, that's a race of people on earth, so these people are going to be throwing people in prison, that you may be tried, okay, it's a trial for our, for our people, and you shall have tribulation ten days, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life, you know what I'm saying, and in the, the scriptures it talks about, in Luke, you know, people going into prison too, things to come, just like it says in Matthew 24, but it says, here right here, in earthquakes and diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven, now if you read down one, but before all these, they shall lay their hands upon you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues, and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. So all this coincides, okay? These pestilences, these famines, and them coming after the believers. You know, point blank period, you know? It's uh, it's going to be crazy out here in the last days, okay? Second Ezra 16, um, going down. I want to go to 70. It says, uh, for, for there shall be in every place and in the next city is a great insur insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So this is a trial for the uh, elect and the multitude, but... You know, the devil is going to come after, you know, the believers because the Israelites are waking up in America and over there in the Western world, over there in London, all over the world. You know what I'm saying? And they don't like that. You know, the Israelites are waking up. They're the people that they hate, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, and there's really nothing they can do about it. This is why this world is going to a shithole. You know what I'm saying? But let's get some other scriptures. Let's go to Matthew's. Matthew uh, 5 and 10. It says, Blessed are you which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you. They revile us, man. It says, And persecute you. They're going to persecute the believers. I just read it. And they sh and, and, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Every time they talk about the Israelites, all they do is lie. You know what I'm saying? Point blank period. They lie. Okay? Because of their hatred for us. 
That's why they lie. Okay. It says rejoice and be exceedingly glad for your great. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Now I want to read this real quick in Revelations 18. This is talking about America being destroyed. Okay. They persecuted the prophets. This is talking about America being uh, destroyed in 60 minutes. You can go read it in your own time. Babylon is falling. It's really America. But when you go down, you know, it says, uh, Revelations 18 and 20. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God have avenged you on her. So, listen, man, they hate us. It doesn't matter. If God be for us, who can be against us? You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shemeshai is going to avenge us. Okay, they don't want to give our people reparation. We don't want it any reparations and all this and all that. Our people complain. Listen, we don't want none of that. We're going to get it back in blood, man. Your house yeah, is going to take vengeance, okay? So, I say that to say this, man. Listen, they're going to say all type of uh, false things about us. You know what I'm saying? They're going to lie on us. They're going to try to come after certain of us. You know what I'm saying? They're going to say you're mentally ill because you believe in all this shit. But, you know, it really don't matter, man. You know, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, 1 Peter 4, last scripture. Uh, in 14, it says, If you are reproached for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and God resteth upon you. On their part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busy busybody in other men's matters. Because when you read this article, you know, it's, just, it's prophecy. But it says, you know, <laughs> even those individuals pose no dangers to others, you know, because they're liars. If any man suffer as a Christian, let none of them be in shame, but let him glorify God on his behalf. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God, okay, the Israelites. And if it begin at us, what shall the end of them be that obey not the gospel of God? And that's where these heathens come in because... Yahweh Shemeshah punishes his people for their transgressions, okay, and he has done that throughout, you know, ever since Solomon, you know, fell. The Israelites have been going through hell ever since, you know, Solomon fell and Israel split in two. We've never been back home, you know what I'm saying? We've been scattered all over the earth, you know what I'm saying? We've been in slavery in Greece and Rome, now in America, you know what I'm saying? But Yahweh Shemeshah is going to, you know, put all these curses upon our enemies and now you know what i'm saying that's since that's happening now you know the devil is going to get out of hand with it he's going to try to nip it in the bud but you know it's really not going to do anything this is revelations 12 and 12 therefore rejoice you heavens and you that dwell in them woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because why he knoweth that he had but a short time so you know, it's just, you know, Esau, Edom, he's insecure. You know, he's one of those people with, you know, that mindset. He says, if I can't have it, you can't have it. So he'll destroy himself and you at the same time. But, you know, they really ain't going to be coming after the, uh, the elect and the mothers who like that. Yeah, how about Shemesh is going to lift up a standard? So, you know, just on my watch, you know, watching what's going on. So just to... Um, Get back, Britain going to do the, uh, uh, Britain on lockdown alert. You know what I'm saying? Russia terminates the Black Sea deal. You know what I'm saying? And them coming after people. You know, so, amen. Repent, double honors, and to the elders and apostles of Jesus and tell me the truth. And call her like, yeah, but she's a shepherd,